Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and I am here at Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa, which is part of Walt Disney World. And I'm gonna give you a quick room tour. We're staying in uh, a part of Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. It's really huge. We're staying in a part called the Grandstand. And our building has rooms 8101 through 8436. It, this, room, this building has lots of handicap accessible rooms. The spots really close are all handicapped. And the bus stop is just right over there. So really good if you have a mobility challenged person in your party. So we're here on the first floor and the buildings at Saratoga Springs, I believe they all have elevators from what I understand, but this one definitely does. But we are on the first floor here in room 123. Welcome home. Well, thank you, ladies. This is a renovated room, updated. This, um, this is being made in July of 2021. And we've done a room tour here at Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa before on a deluxe studio, but this is much, much different than that one. So here is an updated room. Okay, so this is a handicap accessible room as well. And it has the button right here that you can press to open the door. However, our particular room the electric motor that would open that door and the device that connects it to the door is disconnected. And we made the mistake of pressing this button and this thing went several times over the course of the next few minutes. But I think it has finally stopped. All right. Inside the front door, there is a nice full length mirror. Hello, how are you? And Right over here is an area where you can hang up some coats. This is some, uh, some nice horse styling. That's even some, some leather or leatherette there. Pretty neat. The opposite wall right beside the door, we have a, a louvered sliding door. And then here is a small closet with a safe, a keypad safe, not the key safe. A little shelf, a vacuum cleaner, ironing board, and an iron. Small closet. I don't think this is all the closet space though. Okay, going down the hallway on the right, we have the kitchenette. Doesn't look like there's any storage in this box. That may be part of the air conditioning. But just below that, we have a nice microwave, a small one, but still nice paper towels. Looks like this is an ice container here. We've got a corkscrew can opener and um, two can openers, two varieties of can openers. Next level down, we've got some cups and paper plates, some coffee, a coffee machine, toaster, a nice sink, although somewhat small. Down here below the sink, there is a fire extinguisher and more paper towels. So far, I haven't seen a waste paper basket. Then there is a refrigerator, which I have stocked up with beer. By the way, if you come to a Disney resort, I recommend you buy the 16 ounce aluminum bottles because that's what they sell at the pool bar. So you can bring your own to the pool and they won't realize that you brought it with you. Directly across from the kitchenette and behind the this door that goes into the wall is the bathroom area. And there is one waste paper basket and a toilet. Looks like we have a lighted makeup mirror that does uh, magnifies on one side and no magnification on the other. We have some towels here and some towel storage on the other side as well. A good sized mirror and light and over here, the curtain, I don't know if you can see that, but Mickey is on the curtain. And this is a handicap accessible shower that does have some, some Disney shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Uh, during the, the height of the pandemic, these all had plastic on them. When you check into the room, looks like they've stopped doing that. And there is water for the tub, a shower head, 
and another shower head that you can use with your hand. And this handicap accessible room has a, a string to hold your bathing suit on, but it's down low. In a lot of the other rooms, it's way up high, but this one is down low. Just past the kitchenette and the restroom area, there's another door, a louvered door, but I, it, and it's locked, you can't get in there. I believe that is the return air. And now we'll go into the main portion of the room. First thing we see is a nice size bed. I think it's a full, but not a queen. Has some nice uh, horse oriented and also Disney oriented artwork above the bed. Looks like the headboard is connected to the wall and the bed is separate from the wall. There's also this interesting little shelf that just sticks out. There's not really a night stand on that side. And also right beside the bed over here is a closet, but the closet has no doors. And I'm not sure if that's the way it is in all the rooms or just the handicap accessible rooms, but you can see we have one of our suitcases pulled in here. There's an extra pillow and blanket, a blow dryer, and some nice wooden hangers. Some of them with the clip hang hangers on the bottom of them. But the closet, at least in this room, is open. Directly across from the bed is a good size television, probably a 50 inch, I'd say, and a nice chest of drawers. Looks like it has six drawers. They're not all that deep, or at least the first level isn't. Yeah, these drawers are not that deep, but they are, uh, I mean, deep front to back. They are nice and wide. Here's the remote for the television. It is in a bag like it might have been during COVID precautions. Just to the left of, of that chest of drawers, which has a nice marble-like top. You can see we've got a couple more of our suitcases parked there and this door goes to a lock off. So there would be a one bedroom next door. And if you got a two bedroom, you would get that room plus this room. Directly across is a couch and a kind of like an ottoman. I think this ottoman lifts up, yes. So it lifts up and there's storage inside. Plus you can use it to, to eat on. Um, I'm not sure what else it'll be useful for, but we'll, oh, I think it's on wheels. So it's easy to roll around and it's a little bit tricky to close. There we go. So there is the table. The chest of drawers has two outlets and two USB ports on each side. One over here on the right and another over here on the left. Right beside the bed on the other side is a much larger nightstand than that little tiny shelf over there. And it has a lamp with two power outlets and two USBs and a phone and two drawers, as well as a storage cubby below. There is the couch, and you may notice the wooden structure with the handles on it above the couch. All right, let's see what happens when we pull on these handles. It's a bed. The art behind the bed has a couple of Disney horses and it says Saratoga Springs Stables. And it looks like this bed is a full size bed as well. Even with both beds pulled down, the room is pretty spacious. It looks really roomy by comparison to some other rooms that we have stayed in. Of course, keep in mind that this is a deluxe studio. This is the smallest room you can get here at Saratoga Springs. There's a light here that puts really beautiful light on the bed and you turn it on and off right here. The extra bed is where this extra pillow and blanket comes in. 
I know not everybody is this way, but if you're like me, you probably like to bring your computer with you and set it up at a desk with a chair. And the previous way that they had these Saratoga Springs rooms set up, there was a table with two chairs where you could set up your computer or whatever that you might need to do at a desk. But this new room setup does not have any chairs. And the only table is this pop-up ottoman thing. So let me show you what I did. So I'm using that pop-up table ottoman combo that was in front of the couch, which is now laid out as a bed for my daughter to sleep on. And over here on the other side, I have brought in one of the chairs from outside on the porch to sit in at my computer setup. Now, I guess if you didn't have someone sleeping in the pull down uh, Murphy bed, you could sit on the couch and set your computer up like this. But if you have uh, someone using that extra bed, this is a possible solution. Let's see what we can see out here. Looks like we've got some big curtains and some sheer curtains. And I love these, these handles here. And what a beautiful porch. Let's take a look at it. All right, look at this patio and the view that you have from the patio. It's really pretty. There's a sidewalk out here in kind of a wavy square pattern that basically goes nowhere. There's the view of our porch and our neighbor's porch. And you can see that our porch has a ramp so you can come out here with a wheelchair or one of the scooters and come out here and sit. And they've got different chairs now too. They have a, a webbed bottom. It's a metal chair with a web bottom and a metal table and two of those. And here's a window that you can kind of look through and see over some of the rest of the rooms and some of the gardening that's done around the building. But it's really beautiful here. And as I walk a little bit further out from our back porch area, I can see that we are right on a golf course. Not all rooms are on a golf course, but ours is. And we can look over that way and see where the bus would come in. And over there, that building is kind of the, uh, that's kind of the main building of Saratoga Springs. But there's many, many buildings of the size of this building. And you can see it's, it is a really big building, about four stories tall and many, many rooms. And I don't know how many buildings of this size are at Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa, but I would say probably 15 of them anyway. So it's a really big place. Now, one interesting thing about staying in the grandstand area and we looked this up because Saratoga Springs Resort has many, many bus stops. And a person in my party is gonna be on one of those electric scooters. And the buses only have two spots for the electric scooters. So we made sure to try to get a room in the grandstand area because it's the first bus stop to pick people up. So when we have our scooter, we hope to be one of the two scooter spots will be taken up by us. So if we're at the very last bus stop, we might not get, you know, the, a bus might come that's not full, but the scooter spots might be full and that would put us out. Here's an update for you. Look, over the course of the week that we were here, they came and fixed our door. Check this out. Pretty cool. All right, that's gonna do it for my room tour of Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa, room 8123, right here in the grandstand area of Disney Springs Resort. Updated room, hope you enjoyed the tour, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. 
Bye-bye.